Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I got a fun video for you today. And first, let me just apologize for the state of my voice. I've been battling this bronchitis for, I don't know, over a week now. And I think I'm at the very tail end of it. If you're a follower of the channel, you probably noticed the last several videos were ones where I didn't talk because I couldn't talk. But uh, today, I, uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping that, that I'm at the end of it and I am sick of being sick. Enough about that. I wanna show you guys this. And this is an Aztec death whistle. Now, some people call this an instrument. I don't know if you really, truly could call it an instrument because it's a whistle more than like a flute, but it is, you know, formed, uh, you know, via clay and stuff to form a tone. So it is kind of an instrument in its own way. Um, but this particular one I got from a small family owned business here in Texas, actually in Joshua, Texas, and they have an Etsy store. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that Etsy store in the description if you want to check it out. And they have, uh, they are descendants of, of Aztec, Aztec uh, tribes people. So according to the family that I got this from, they said these were most commonly used to guide you to the spirit world after death. So they were typically put in, in uh, burial grounds or things like that. Um, again, I don't want to debate the authenticity of that, but this is what it is. So anyway, let me just show it to you really quick. And, and these are typically shaped as skulls or animals. And, and it has this little lanyard hole if you want to, you know, wear it around your neck. But um, as you can see, the eyes are open. And then there's a blowhole in the top. And then the bottom is also open. And then it has basically a chamber in there where when you blow into it, um, it causes like a, a whistling sound or a wind-like sound. And um, I, I've never tried to uh, play one of these or make a sound with one of these, so this will be, this will be a first today. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a shot. I've never tried to play a death whistle before, and as I said, my voice is, is quite, um, quite weak right now, but we'll, we'll give this a shot. So, here we go. That is terrifying. Oh my gosh. I don't know if the camera captured that, but that is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I don't know if that would steer you to the spirit world. That might scare everybody away along your way though. Wow, um, that's impressive. Let me see if I can get a more mellow sound out of it. More like a windy kind of sound. Um, but there you go. So this particular one, as I mentioned, was uh, handmade by a family-owned business. These um, sell in like the twenty to thirty dollar range. They aren't terribly expensive. There are some like plastic ones, some three D printed ones, and stuff like that that you can find for for much cheaper. I don't know the exact uh, how well those work in comparison. But there you go. Just a quick video. But I wanted to show off my new Aztec death whistle made uh, right down the road in Joshua, Texas. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. If you like what I do on this channel, please hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up.